All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm going to wrap this video up, and then I'm going to sleep. All right, so we're going to talk about classes today, and we're going to take it up a notch, as I said in the last video. So I, I made a brand new file, a brand new project, and I made one class. And it's the same class, but there's nothing in the main function. I, just, I made a weapon class, and it's slightly different. I only gave it two variables, and I gave it two functions. And the two functions only return the value of the two variables. And I made I also made a constructor function, which just sets the two variables equal to some values. And that's it. But we're not. I'm not focused on the weapon class today. I'm focused on I'm focusing on making the same class in a different way. So when you, this is the formal way of making a class. Right here what I've been showing you is a general way. It's easy to teach and it makes sense. But it's also the hillbilly way of making a class. In this case I'm making a class weapon. Well what I'm going to show you today is how people would generally make a class. <clears throat> now people would generally make a class is they would make two files. One file would be a header file and one file would be a CPP file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to add a header file. And I'm going to name this one Weapon. You can name it whatever you want, but I think it's a good idea to name it Weapon. You should too. And then you should name, because that's the name of my class, is Weapon. So I'm going to name it Weapon. I'm going to make a CPP file called Weapon. So there's a weapon.cpp and there's a weapon.h that I made. They're empty. Okay. Now I already have this uh, weapon class copy and pasted onto a notepad. So what I'm going to do, alright, that doesn't matter to you guys. I'm going to delete this class weapon. So right now, I'm basically, this code looks exactly like the code probably from lesson one or two or something like that. There's nothing here. <clears throat> well, I'm going to make my... I'm going to copy and paste my uh, weapon class here into my header file. Does everybody see that? I, I pasted only the class information into the header file. But what I'm going to do, it's going to seem weird now. I'm going to delete all of the uh, implementation portion of my functions. I'm making, I'm putting my, all my function prototypes in this header file and that's all I'm doing. Well what about the implementation? How's it going to implement the code? Well the code does not go in the header file. The code goes in the CPP file. So this is what's going to seem a little different here. So this, all I have here in this class weapon is the the weapon stuff, everything that's in the weapon class, but without the stuff in it. Without all the uh, implementations. Now, in the CPP file, in the weapon CPP file, I'll make this big. This is where I type the code, but it's going to seem a little different. I'm going to include the weapon header. Next, I'm going to type in weapon two colons and I'm just going to choose this here alright this is my constructor function I'm going to type in all the definitions to my constructor function here weapon actually I'm going to go double weapon scope resolution get attack bonus and I am going to say return m underscore um, atk bonus and that's it now what I'm doing here I am uh, 
I'm just typing in the definitions here. So this is the same way when I had this. This is the same way we did it before. This is going to do. No, I'm sorry. It's a completely different way that we've done it before. It's going to do the same exact thing, and you'll see it when I run my code. I'm just putting everything in a different spot and splitting everything up, and you'll see why later. Oops. Okay. Looking at this here, so I, I included my header file, my weapon.h header file, and then I set everything up here. And notice, look, my variables aren't even declared yet. Well, actually, they're declared in the weapon class up here. <coughs> so, never mind. Alright. So, in this CPP file, I have all my implement all my executable code here <coughs> all my prototypes are in the header file now finally I'm gonna go to my main .cpp file and this main .cpp file is the cpp file that has my main function in it keep that in mind there's gonna be your cpp file with your main function in it and all the other cpp files that don't have your main function in it okay all I'm gonna do it's just include weapon.h. <clears throat> now this is the idea. You just include one library and then it works. Now I can use, I can declare stuff in this main function. Weapon, uh, sword, sword dot, and I have all these stuff. I can use all my functions like a regular class. And I don't have all this junk up here in my main.cpp file. It can be dispersed throughout the entire document. So all I have is this here and I got the cpp file with my executable code. So why would we want to do this? Well this is first of all the uh, when you look online or you watch other videos probably of the, of the same thing that I'm doing, you're going to see classes being made this way. I, I didn't want to show it that way. Let me check my time. I don't want to run out of time. Seven minutes. Seven and a half. Um, you're going to see, basically, uh, from other tutorials, classes are going to be made this way. You're going to see this... It's going to be made this way out of books. We'll see why in a second. Now, if you if you go to school for this kind of stuff, they're going to show you that in your header file, they're going to be putting in for these, this thing called formal comments. And actually, they would use an exclamation mark here just to represent that it's a formal comment. And the formal comments would tell you exactly in some mathematical way or a descriptive way of what it does. In this case, I would say this of this class because we're all, it knows we're talking about the class. This returns attack bonus value. It doesn't. You can't. You wouldn't be able to just say attack bonus. You'd have to say your attack bonus value. And the same thing here. returns the uh, volatility value. And uh, if you have a more complex function, nine minutes, if you have a more complex function, which you probably will, you're going to be probably including plenty of different libraries online or something, or maybe you want to new get some kind of new... Uh, a package that's online that does something maybe makes a window makes a, a new gaming package or whatever you're gonna have functions that may have formal comments that tells you exactly what it does which would be easier than looking at the code and trying to figure it all out because they're more than likely going to be using their own classes that they made up which you have no idea how they set up and over time this code can get so long that it would be easier to look at the formal comments that tells you exactly what that function does but not necessarily um, telling you what's going on inside it. It just lets you know that it's going to do something. 
and we'll go over that later. I don't want to. If I start, if I keep on talking, it just won't make as much sense. But basically, the header files are going to have formal comments that tells you what each function does specifically, in a general way. And uh, the CPP files will have the code in it. So that's the general way of making your classes. So that's it on this video, and I'll see you next time, and we'll, and we'll keep on moving on.